In this video, I'm going to show you the seven most reliable price action patterns that you can spot in charts to profit more easily. So the first of them is the bull flag pattern. We've all, all seen this where the price goes up rapidly and then it zigzags in a downward flag where the tops and the bottoms connect to form a rectangular flag and the chances are 67% of the time according to backtesting the price breaks upward so that is a quite reliable pattern that's easy to spot and the inverse of that is the bear flag where you see a downward uh, movement in price and then the price zigzags upwards uh, but the tops and bottoms are straight forming a rectangular flag pattern chances are that's going to break downwards uh, the chances are 67.72 percent that it will break downwards uh, the second one is the ascending triangle pattern we've seen this as well and the descending triangle pattern which you may recognize from the bitcoin chart because we've been seeing this pattern all year with bitcoin so in the case of the Bitcoin chart, it is most likely that the pattern is going to break towards the downside. We might have seen that already happen as there has been some slight uh, downward um, movements. Probably by the time you're watching this video, that may have already happened. Uh, the other way is the ascending triangle where the top of the triangle is flat. The top line is flat and the bottom lines the the bouncers are getting progressively higher chances are that that will break out to the upside especially when the price entered uh, on the way up 72 percent chance of those uh, breaking out in that way next one is the ascending channel pattern similar to the flag it behaves in the same sense but it is a bit more uh, reliable and that's where uh, the price started going into a descending um, channel like that and chances are it's going to break out upwards 73% when ascending as in the price started off by going upwards and then into this channel breaks out upwards uh, and uh, in the descending channel the chances are 72.8% that it's going to continue bullish so that's a continuation pattern Next one is the double top and bottom. Another great way to uh, look out for trades. The double top occurs at the top of a price movement. It's where the price gets rejected off the top, bounces down, tries again, gets rejected. And when the price goes beyond uh, the middle section here, then the chances are that the um, price is going to break out downwards and it will move to the same distance downwards as from the top to the middle section. So that happens at the top and it can also happen at the bottom. So it happens in the same way, price goes downwards, gets rejected, bounces up, but uh, tries again, bounces up, breaks through there, and then the chances are that it's going to the target is going to be equal to the to the distance from the bottom to this middle section added on top so great way to find profitable trades the triple top is very similar and it has a higher chance of success and that's similar to the double top same as the double top but then you get a bounce off the same um, same support line there bounces off the resistance line through the support line and the distance again is worked out the same way from the top to the middle points here you get the same distance down afterwards triple bottom works the same way but that happens at the bottom of the price movement in exactly the same way so I don't need to explain that too much the next one is the bullish rectangle pattern and that's where you see a sideways movement and uh, there's a 78 percent chance that if the price entered um, bullish then it's going to break out bullish when it breaks out and the same 
the other way rectangle way you've got a straight top straight bottom of that range but you enter bearish as in the price is going down chances are that the price will break out down after the rectangle completes but the very best pattern is the head and shoulders pattern and the inverted head and shoulders pattern so definitely look out for these on charts uh, there is a 83 percent chance of both of them happening in the uh, same way so you've got a very good profitable chance uh, in your trades and that is where you get the price in the head and shoulders pattern the price is going up it reaches a uh, resistance here bounces down but then stops and bounces up higher than the original um, point and this is the head these are the two shoulders so you get this head and shoulders pattern now the point where you would enter the trade is once the price breaks out down below the previous line of support and then the way that you calculate your um, take profits section is from the top to the shoulder line you take that distance downwards and you can expect that the price will reach around about this area so they're the top patterns to look out for uh, here's just a quick example of how to trade the head and shoulders pattern in real life so you see here that you can clearly identify the head and shoulders pattern then the price breaks out through beyond the shoulder line and then the price target is down from the head to the shoulder line the neckline rather uh, downwards so that's where you would look for the price going and the same with the inverse head and shoulders I think it's slightly more difficult to spot the inverse head and shoulders but there's the shoulder there's the head there's the other shoulder and you're looking for the price breaking up past that neckline and the target would be somewhere up there so there are the basics but how would you find these patterns on the chart because they can be quite hard to spot but the good news is I found this website called Finviz uh, click the link in the video description below to go to this page and you click on screener at the top and then you can search for certain signals such as the head and shoulders pattern then we can sort by market cap and we find that uh, let's see there's a big company here ServiceNow that apparently has the head and shoulders pattern so let's go on to trading view search for ServiceNow and on the daily chart just as zoom out slightly and see if we can spot the head and shoulders pattern on the chart here so I guess, I'm guessing that this is the shoulder or this this is certainly the head but let's see how they say it on the uh, Finviz website so yeah the peak here is the shoulder at about 205 and then we've got the left sorry the head there and then we've got the uh, two shoulders so yeah there it is on my chart uh, not a fantastic example I would say so let's go to the next one Coles Corporation and that does look like a better setup so let's put that into trading view move this out of the way and yeah there we can see the two shoulders and the head so the way that we would measure this is using the measuring tool if you take the distance from the head to the neckline it is 12.41 down so if we measure from the neckline 12.41 roughly we're looking at a target around 61.77 
but the breakout point is round about here 69.85 so what you'd be looking for to happen next is the price to come down go past the neckline and then you're looking for an entry point and setting your target down where did we say roughly round round about here so you take profits where the price goes down and it obviously it's going to go all over the place before it reaches uh, around about that price so that is how to trade the head and shoulders pattern use the finviz website that i've linked in the video description to find the stocks and you can screen the stocks very easily so you don't have to look through hundreds and hundreds of charts to try to spot these patterns uh, yourself which would be very very difficult you'll find that all of the top traders use screening tools like this so i hope this helps uh, click the links in the video description B please do give the video a thumbs up if the content was useful for you and subscribe for more videos like this see you again soon and check out this video as well that i'm sure you will love